Guitarist Caleb Quay says he remembers bringing drummer Roger Pope to the Elton John Band in the late 60s. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. We've shared in previous videos in this series that both Caleb Coy and Roger Pope were big parts of the Elton John Band in the beginning and in the mid-70s as well. Caleb and Roger spent a lot of time together. It was exciting, you know, those days were, we loved, and I still loved going into the studio now, but we, we loved going into the studio. We loved it. Um, and of course we were working on, we were working on original material, you know, songs that, that um, Elton and Bernie had, had written. Um, I was involved in their, their, I was very involved in their career right from the very beginning because I was actually their very first producer. I got them signed. I was the one that got them signed to Dick James Music. And uh, so I was very involved in, in their stuff. And so as things progressed, um, we knew that we had something different. We knew we were doing something different. And and it, it was just exciting. We couldn't wait to get in the studio. And the interesting thing, I think one of the things back then, you know, this is like, the, they were analog days, so that there was no, there wasn't the plethora of electronic gimmicks, uh, tricks, and, and, and technology, which just wasn't around, you know. Um, for a guitar player, you know, I mean, on the Empty Sky album, all I had, the only effect I had was a wah wah pedal. Everything else was just, it was a 64 Strat and a 50 Watt Marshall. That's it. You know, so whatever sound that you wanted to generate, you had to create it in the studio. You had to come up with it. And so um, that was exciting. We loved it. You know, if you want a different drum sound, you had to rearrange the microphones. You know, you didn't press a button and come up with a sample. <laughs> so it was a lot of, um, uh, it was the adventure, what I like to call the adventure of organic creativity. And here we are talking about Crocodile Rock again. Did you hear in previous videos? If not, we'll have a link to that video about Crocodile Rock in the description of this video. Mad Men Across the Water was the last album for Caleb Quay in the Elton John Band and Roger Pope as well. We talk about that album and going in different directions in 1971. Well, at that point, Elton, Elton's um, career musically had started to go in a in a slightly more pop direction than what I wanted to go in. I was more of a jazz player, jazz blues player, and Hookfoot was was well entrenched in in this kind of jazz blues rock funk kind of a fusion, you know. And so, uh, so for me, and of course, this is a little later on down the road, but something like Crocodile Rock just is not, <laughs> not my cup of tea. <laughs> I wasn't about to, to embark on something like that, you know. So, um, you know, uh, so there were some musical differences there. So there was a, there was a specific or a particular path that, that me and Roger wanted to pursue, which was really not a whole lot to do with quote unquote pop music we were more serious musicians we'll have more of our conversation with the great caleb quay coming up next week make sure you comment on our video subscribe to our channel and share our videos i'm john bowden from rock history music